I'm Corbett Wall with DV Auction here with your feeder flash for Friday August the 11th and I've always said that it will never fail every year they're gonna make it where we get more bushels to the acre either through hybrid seeds or genetic modifications or something but they're always making strides doing that in the farming community I wish they could make it where we had less acres to the cow but uh, evidently it seems, seems now that maybe we've found drought proof crops because uh, everybody was really expecting that the uh, USDA crop production report that was released on Thursday around noon Eastern time there would come back with uh, lower estimates both, both on production and on uh, yield and uh, but it just come out where they, they barely even changed them at all from the July estimate. And I know a lot of guys in, in different parts of the Corn Belt have been languishing in drought and, and uh, extreme heat uh, ever since that estimate come out. But uh, on corn production, which is the most important to the cattle, uh, they came out uh, with a report for the August estimates are for a 14.2 billion bushel crop which is just barely under what they had estimated for July hardly even enough to talk about yields went from uh, 170.7 down to uh, the August estimate at 169.5 the industry was really thinking it was going to be more like 165 but you know that's good for the cattle guys because it's keeping the grains down under pressure and and uh, corn futures uh, on the Chicago Board of Trade December was down 15 and a quarter at 371 for new crop beans. November is down 33 at 940 and a quarter, but uh, that was going to help. So just imagine what it would have been if, uh, if uh, the estimates had come back on the other side because it didn't really help the cattle at all. Of course, uh, your corn's not going to help your live cattle, but live cattle futures, the October contract was down $1.45 to end the day on Thursday at $106.60. Your August spot live cattle futures at $108.85. And again, I say if, if, we, if we let the cash market fall below uh, that uh, support line at $110, uh, there's, there's really no net under that. And there's, it's, uh, it's hard to think what we could drop to after that. Feeder cattle futures, the August contract down just 35 cents after being down the limit on Wednesday to end the day on Thursday at 141.17. Now your fat cattle trade, the results come in for earlier in the week and Wednesday's trade was 70,500 head just on Wednesday. And remember we had some Monday and Tuesday trade. Just through Wednesday we're up to 102,600 head in the five area feeding region and there's no doubt there's going to be a little bit more cleanup trade uh, we didn't hear of anything on thursday but uh, there's no doubt there'll be a few trades that didn't get uh, put in on the mandatory price reporting or a little bit of cleanup trade that will happen that will register there and that's going to put a a big uh, uh, marketing week there which is really good because uh, we need that uh, albeit on a down market but uh, we're still ahead of the game uh, working through these cattle and staying current and we've got to continue to do that if we're going to get through uh, what's trying to be a little wreck here. But uh, through Wednesday your live uh, steer average, weighted average on a live basis 115.20 and on dress basis steer 183.99. Both of those are roughly two dollars lower than the weighted average from a week ago. Your actual uh, dress steer weight for the week ending July the 29th come in on Thursday at 875 pounds. That's up seven pounds. So yes, indeed, we are getting into some heavier cattle here. We knew we were getting through them. Uh, we're, we're two more weeks along now, but uh, it, it is uh, weighing on the market. Your slaughter's been uh, real aggressive this week. Through Wednesday, 472,000. We had some big days this week. At 7,000 more than a good week last week, and 23,000 more than the same week a year ago. You look at uh, some things going on here late in the week. Burwell, Nebraska, Burwell Livestock having their barbecue special, Customer Appreciation Day. 4,000 head plus expected. Uh, you know, the timing's not great, but in that part of the country where you've got a lot of farmer feeder demand, uh, it could offset uh, some of the pressure that we've got, especially when you get some of these uh, 
real good uh, consignments they've got. They've got a they've got a, a cow dispersal on there. They've got a lot of good calves selling early, and then about 20 strings or big string consignments of yearlings. And you can uh, view and bid on that Burwell auction on DV auction here on Friday, starting around 10:30 in the morning Central Time. But your real time index on Beef Market Central late Thursday sitting at 144.72 that's down a dollar 11 so continuing with pressure but uh nothing's going to put any more pressure than that big day on wednesday but uh look how much lower some of these cash markets are farmers and ranchers livestock on thursday around 3300 head you look at your beef market central automated market report looks like your uh, big yearling steers sure five to ten dollars lower and we saw that on wednesday too so that's not uh, out of the ordinary there for what we would expect it to be look at some quotes there 410 had a seven weight steers averaging 744 at 146.85 250 head of 829 pound steers on the average average 138.74 and 539 head of nine weight steers average in 940 brought a weighted average price of 134.78 look at another market here on uh, thursday a big market pratt livestock in pratt kansas had a bigger sale 4100 head a lot of these count cattle coming off this is the end of the traditional grazing period in the flint hills in kansas there so some of those cattle coming off uh, we, we talked a lot earlier this summer about the double stock cattle but this is the end of the traditional grazing period the big steers in pratt mostly seven dollars lower had over 600 head of eight weight steers averaging 860 at 141.62 and over 1,280 head of nine weight steers in Pratt on Thursday, averaged 9.45 with a weighted average price of 134.36. Look at an individual quote that continued to impress out east there. Paris Stockyards in Paris, Kentucky, at 10 o'clock on Thursday morning, had a really impressive price. Uh, considering they're not even loads, it's, it's 72 head of 932 pound steers bring 138 if you'd like to be involved in this automated market report and you've got a sale barn you know somebody that does or you have a, some pull in a big market there you'd like to to be advertised on this market and and on our national beef wire and a lot of places and get the word out on that it's pretty simple to do just get a hold of me or somebody here at dv auction we can tie right into that it doesn't cost you anything uh, and if you're not doing it you're just wasting your time but that's your feeder flash for Friday, August the 11th.